this is not a crypto expert chiming in with another video in this video I am going to show you how to launch your Chrome applications and how to install and delete the Bitcoin app from the Nano Ledger S right now it is currently on my Nano Ledger uh, the, uh, when I say it I'm referring to the, the um, Bitcoin wallet uh, so I'm going to show you how to install and delete that or, or remove that and install the Ethereum wallet as well as whatever the uh, third most popular wallet they have on the uh, Nano Manager. So to launch your Chrome applications, click on, uh, well I mean it doesn't matter, you can, whatever browser that you in, you're in, excuse me, whatever, you can type it in whichever tab that you want, create a new one or just use an existing one, but you would type in Chrome colon to backslashes and apps and any apps that you've allowed to uh, use your Gmail account will be listed here so there is the ledger manager now I have already authenticated my nano s with the pen and there's a uh, Bitcoin icon that's on there from the the last install I did not remove it so I will uh, show you how it looks on the nano in this video as well it should actually be appearing right now so first thing we're gonna do is let's go ahead and let's delete the Bitcoin app so click the trash can now on my ledger it's asking me to confirm that this is a legit request and you should actually now be seeing that as well all you have to do is just press the two keys or the two buttons that are on the device to confirm oh, I'm sorry press the other right button for the other check mark the left the left one is an X when you do that it goes through pretty quickly all right so that's now been removed so uh, let's install ethereum And it looks like I can now confirm that you're only asked to authenticate the pen, or excuse me, not the pen, but the um, any software additions one time after you plug it. Well, well, each time that you plug it up, but you don't have to authenticate it for each application or wallet that you're trying to install. Uh, let's do Litecoin as well. I know I said I was going to do the top three, but um, I know that these are at least the top three cryptocurrencies right now instead of the top three that are on their list so the installation is actually fairly quick uh, I'm not gonna do Bitcoin cash let me put Bitcoin back on Ripple since that is always in the news. Stratus. Alright, so at this point I think that I'm good with just installing apps just to test. I've got uh, the main ones that I, I, I use which would be uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum and Litecoin. Uh, more I, I, I'm starting to use Ethereum more just because I'm looking into more ICOs and the majority of them are based on the Ethereum blockchain uh, using ERC20 tokens I also would like to grab some NEO so I probably should also install their app so one more addition one more app install addition and unable to install all right so I'm glad that you all actually saw that with me so Let's see what's more important to me. Neo or what? So let me click on my device. Nope. Uh, I guess I'm gonna have to know what's on here. So on the LCD, I'm actually gonna take a picture now so that you can see it. There are uh, more applications on here. So I do not see a place where I can see what apps are installed from the wallet however this is my first time doing this and I'm doing it live and I prefer not to have to do another video so I don't see 
where the applications are on the device from here. However, I, I see them on the uh, on the device itself. So I'm just going to remove what I see, one of them, and install Neo. And hopefully this will work. I'm curious how to find out how big the uh, the file sizes are when they're on the device. So hopefully this goes through. And these are all just wallets. Okay, so it went through for me. So I'm gonna end that video, or see me this video here, and the next one I am going to update my firmware. So wherever you are, folks, I hope that you're having a great morning, great afternoon, or a great evening.